With assistant coach Luke Strand, talk to us a bit about the power play, which has had a lot of success over the last uh, couple weeks, I guess. Yeah, I think, you know, you've seen the influx of players coming in and out of our, our roster and our lineup between call-ups and injuries. So um, we've had a little bit of stability, especially on the top of the quarterbacks. I think you'd have to start with five and nine, doing a good job up top. And um, that's given us some stability for sure. And then uh, the increased play of Ryan House. I mean, House has been effective there and in finding himself uh, in crucial situations scoring big goals for us. That's a big turnaround from a rough start of the season for House. Can you just elaborate on, on his season and what you thought of, of what he's, you've seen from him thus far? Well, I think it's a little bit of puck confidence and just uh, just instilling more time in play, basically. I mean, he's getting more shifts now, and um, he's turned the corner, too. I think, you know, he had a – he's from from where he came from in the beginning to where he is now, um, it just shows up on the power play, especially with the, with the extra ice time. And he's got offensive instincts there that uh, make him very effective out there for sure. What do you remember about Peoria as a hockey club that you saw twice over a span of a week at the end of February? Well, I think they can go. I think they're a very deep, loaded roster as far as I'm concerned. I think they're one of the top opponents we play all year long. Um, I think their forwards possess pucks and, and, and uh, are offensive, really very aware team. Um, at the same time, I know their acquisition, Stalock, is a good goalie back there and, and O'Sullivan up front. So um, they're, they're a deep team that, um, you know, at, at the same time, when we do our things right, uh, it puts us in a good spot as well. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks. With netminder Leland Irving, it's been a busy 2012 calendar for you. Talk about being up and down and, and how you have to manage uh, two different hockey clubs you're playing behind. It's difficult. Um, you know, two, uh, two di very different leagues, you know, first of all. And then, uh, you know, I feel like the, the teams are a little different. Um, at the same time, you know, as long as I'm commu communicating with my D and we're on the same page, it, uh, that makes it a lot easier. It's got to be a dream. You've got that first NHL start under your belt this season. A pretty special year. It's been awesome. I mean, uh, you know, we all dream for, for that day, for your, your first game in the NHL. And, um, you know, nice to, to get a first win, you know, especially in a city like Vancouver. You know, real tough place to play in. So uh, it's it's been a, a unreal season. And, you know, just, uh, you know, more exciting things to come. Tell me about this playoff run and, and this uh, sprint to the playoffs with such a tight race for the final five spots. Yeah, it's uh, it's a battle. I mean, we're uh, you know we want to approach these last this last uh, month of the season. You know, kind of like playoff hockey. You know, try and uh, get as many points as you can, get uh, home ice in the playoffs, and um, you know carry that intensity and that that same mindset through the playoffs. And, yeah, take one game at a time. Thanks for your time, Leland. Thanks a lot. We're with Hugh Jessamine. Maybe give us a quick recap of the last couple of games. you got five points, putting up some numbers. Yeah, no, it's um, been a good uh, good uh, situation for our line. Obviously, we've, we've had a lot of scoring chances. Um, and as a team, I thought the last game we, you know, we, uh, we kept our chances for uh, – um, at a better, much better ratio than our chances against uh, than we had the day before. So obviously, uh, we just want to keep it going and and um, keep keep uh, climbing the mountain a little bit. Yeah. Now with Esther Clay back with you and Walter, that line's had some success. Do you enjoy that uh, trio? I do for sure. Yeah, I really like. Obviously, you know, we've had success. Uh, uh, we had a little bit of chemistry right from the start, and Esther's. Uh, you know, he's, he thinks the game really well, and obviously Walter uh, distributes the puck really well, and he's you know pretty savvy out there. So just try to get in the right spots and shoot the puck. Tell us about Peoria. You saw this club a couple times over the span of a week earlier in uh, February. Um, yeah, they're a really good team. You know, they have they have uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, I think they're they have some skill uh, up front, quite a bit, quite a few good players, um, and then obviously they have have always been pretty uh, solid defensively. Um, but they, they, they like to play a sort of a run-and-gun game, and uh, we're going to have to just basically, um, obviously, try to, try to make them beat us at our own game. Thanks for your time, as always. Thank you.